it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. We're on another field trip. We're at our Crawford County Fair and we brought a couple of friends with us. Well, actually four of our college friends. So they might be in the video, they might not. But Rich and I wanted to show you around and see some bunnies and eat some food with us and just have a good time. I figured I'd show you a brand new baby cap. Look at this baby. It says don't touch her. She was born on the 20th and today's the 25th. She's four days old. Oh, she's got dirty spots. She's so cute. My girlfriend wants to take home every animal so she, she sees, so she's already ready to bring home this cow. This is my friend Abby. You might remember her mom, Cora, from videos we've done in the past, and I'll link one here. And this is her Susie. She's taken Susie home with her, but she's in 4-H, and she has a market goat, and we'll show you him soon. What's your favorite thing about Susie? She's just really soft and shiny. She's really pretty. Abby's going to keep her and breed her, so she's going to have a lot more baby goats. I don't know who this goat is, but he likes me, and he keeps crawling up to say hello to me. Oh, now he's going to say hello to Rich. Have a little bite of that. That goat's cute. Hello, Arrow. He's a cute goat. Hello, goat. Okay, this is Bubba. Baba is the goat that she's selling in her 4-H auction. And this is Cora, in case you forgot Cora, from videos we've done in the past. Say hello, Cora. This goat's licking my arm and biting my shirt. Hey, Baba. This is Baba. Hey, Baba. In the meantime, that arrow goat just chewed a little piece of my shirt off. I love that. That's hysterical. I'm made to be a goat owner, huh? <laughs> so tell us all about what his special trick is, Abby. He walks up the board and the seesaw. Then, yeah, the seesaw that we made out of a board and log, and then he goes down it. So basically, he knows how to ride a seesaw. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. This can cut out the other stuff. That is one talented goat. Skilled. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in the bunny barn, and this bunny is worth $70, which seems like a lot for most of these bunnies, because most of them are going for like 15 or 20 but isn't he sweet? Hi, baby. I'll show you some more. My favorite part about coming to the fair, seeing the baby bunnies. There's a little baby there. Her mama's in the back. She's all black. You can only see her bum right now. But isn't that sweet? Look at the little one leaning its head against its mama. How cute are they? Check out the size of this fella. He's a big rabbit. He's had a rough week here at the fair. So cute. See him. He's got those floppy ears and he's having a little supper right now. Hello, fella. You having something good to eat? Look at their nose. How cute. If you didn't figure it out, my, the bunny barn's my favorite part of the whole fair experience. Okay, the food is really my favorite part, but now my belly's full, so I'm ready to talk about bunnies. I was talking about that has the blue eyes. He has a tuft of hair over his eyes, but his eyes are really a cool blue. There, can you see him? Hey, bunny. He is the cutest thing ever. Maybe that's why his eyes are so big, is because he has that tuft of hair over them. Anyway, that's my favorite bunny so far. When I was a kid, I had a black rabbit. I think they're so pretty. They're just so silky. I had my black rabbit for a long time, and my sister had a brown one that looked like a wild rabbit. But I always liked mine, and because I had a very uh, big imagination when it came to names, I called it Thumper. Last year, our nephew and his wife oh, and daughter played this dime toss and they won so much stuff. So Rich is playing, 
in honor of them because they couldn't make it. And he's already won one on his first toss. He's really, really proud of himself. Try to win the one that's uh, right in front of you that matches okay. this other one. Okay, Rich, we'll see how good you really are. Yeah. He's never going <laughs> to hit that one. Uh, I and, and we have three dollars worth of dimes. Once he's done with those three dollars, he's done. Because you know I, he would do this all day. Oh darn it! He's trying for that little. We I'll, I'll zoom if so you can see what he's. Doing. What'd you win? The big one, the matching one. Oh good, he's got a matching one now. You could get a set of four, Rich. Are you done? No. Oh, you're showing I'm off showing your wins. wins. Oh, aren't you the man? What next? Directly in front is another one like that one. You're really aggressive at this. I've never seen anybody throw so fast. Look at this, this is insanity. He has issues, do you think so? Now he has a set of four. Uh, so tell him how excited you are about getting four lovely dime glasses for your wedding gift for your daughter. I think she will love them. I'm sure she will. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our day at the fair. We'll be doing more field trips because you guys said you wanted them, and you know we do what you guys ask for. Rich, you have anything else you want to say? Uh, no, go to the bunny barns and throw dimes. They're lots of fun. And give this video a thumbs up and let us know what you think we should do for our next road trip. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.